Hi, Peggy Krause for Racing Diabetes. It's super annoying when you get up in the morning and that blood glucose is higher than the one that you had before you went to bed. How can that be? It all has to do with circadian rhythms. Let's talk about that today. So circadian rhythms are a way for your body to anticipate your next move. It has to know what you're gonna do two to three hours from now. So the liver has its own circadian rhythm and its job is, or one of its jobs, is to make glucose while you're sleeping. So at two or three in the morning, your liver decides, oops, he or she's gonna wake up soon and it starts to make glucose and spill it out into the bloodstream and that's what you measure on your glucometer in the morning and that's why it's higher than the night before. Your glucose is busy making glucose. I'm sorry, your liver is make it, busy making glucose to get you out of bed. Open your eyes, put your feet on the ground until you can get food into your system. So what can you do about it? First of all, you can get eight hours of sleep every night. I know it's not always possible, but give it a try, eight hours of sleep. Lots of research to show us that when we don't get enough sleep, blood glucose goes up because it screws up the liver's timing and as opposed to and some other things as well. But when the, li when the liver is off, off kilter, it makes extra glucose. Second of all, I want you to not eat any food two to three hours before you go to bed. So when you put the fork down at six o'clock, don't eat before you go to bed because that extra food is going to change the melatonin response Okay, so when you eat too close to bedtime, there's not as much melatonin produced in your body. And when there's not enough melatonin, you don't get sleepy. You don't sleep as well. When you don't sleep as well, blood glucose goes up in the morning. It's easy now. It gets dark early. So that is a good thing because our body is not meant to to have all this, this light, these long days in the summer, our body's not really used to that. Our body's not meant to have that. So it's a good thing. Now in the winter time, it gets dark early. So I want you to likewise keep the lights in the house dim. Um, no bright lights. Certainly the blue light for the computer, from the computer and from the phone, those are disruptive for the melatonin response as well. So the food, the lights, nothing two to three hours before you go to bed. In case you can't fix these, okay, here are two things that I want you to try. Interval training, okay? In case you can't, say you're just not a sleeper, okay? You don't, can't get the eight hours of sleep a night. I want you to try some interval training, right? You're going to warm up. You're gonna pick a speed that you can do for three minutes, you know, something that's somewhat hard, but then for 30 seconds, I want you to go faster, harder. It's not exhaustive exercise, but it's much harder. So that's for 30 seconds, and then you back down to that three minute speed. After three minutes, you go back up to that 30 second speed, and you do back and forth a few times, maybe four or five times, and then you cool, cool down, and that's your interval training. I want you to do that twice a week. That's it, just four or five intervals at a time. And that's going to help to reset the circadian rhythms. The other thing you can try is when you get up in the morning, I want you to go outside. If you have to put on your coat, I want you to go outside for a few minutes. I want you to look into the sunshine. You don't have to not stare at the sun, but look into the bright of the morning because when the sunlight hits your eyeballs, it helps to reset the circadian rhythm. And that will help to increase melatonin in the evening and that whole cascade so that you will have low, lower numbers on your glucometer. Okay, so I would like you to um, 
click the subscribe button here for, uh, for my YouTube videos so you can get uh, even more great information. And I want you to keep your eyes peeled for my online erasing diabetes that I am just in, just perfecting right now and um, should be available shortly. What you can do is you can go to my website, erasingdiabetes.com and you can click around, get some really good stuff off of that site and um, keep an eye out for the announcement of of my online Erasing Diabetes. It's called Erasing Diabetes Daily, where you'll be able to upload your glucometer numbers to an app, and that app transmits the numbers to my dashboard. I'll be able to see them in real time, and we'll be able to, uh, to, uh, to text about them and to talk about them with the video conference. More on that to come. Have a great day, and get some sleep.